trying to get in shape for my trip to India. Christ said to go into all the world, preach the gospel to every creature. The problem is, we have no idea who they are. How are we supposed to effectively communicate the gospel to a people we know nothing about? How they think, what kind of pressures they have in their daily lives. Come with me and let's meet India face to face. Well, it's 5.30 in the morning, and today's supposed to be a high day. We're supposed to have an area-wide camp meeting. There's supposed to be 50 people baptized today, but it's raining like dogs and cats out there. It's, I went to bed early last night, so I'm feeling really good today. Let's go look out the window. Let's go look out the door. November in India. Hot, sticky, and wet. In this episode of India Face to Face, we're taking a behind the scenes look at the basic mundane stuff of mission work. Simple things like finding breakfast, getting a shower, and watching your plans go down the drain. I'll never be able to explain what it's like to simply stand on a street corner in India and watch the traffic go by. You can see what it's like here in the video, but you're missing all the other sensory input. The smell, the feel of the warm air against your face, the hint of danger of the unknown, the vulnerability of your body to all the unfamiliar traffic surging around you. This is the first time for me to come here in the monsoon season. So there's a warm rain drenching my hair and my clothes. Thankfully, I have a rain slicker on my camera. At least the important things are covered. This hotel used to be the ritzy place in town, the one everybody wanted to go to. It was actually the only Western five-star hotel in the entire city of Madras. That was about 60 years ago. The walls are buckling. This uh, section right up here, part right there, a slab of cement that at one time without warning just came crashing down and hit a car down below totaled the whole car luckily nobody was in it but that insurance said to buy the guy a new car so the bellman told me not to stand too close to the edge because things might start falling apart <laughs> but it's six bucks a night and uh, i got ac so who's to complain actually you can be more effective by staying in rooms like this it makes our friends here in India feel more comfortable visiting us, although they still feel it's a bit extravagant. In fact, many of their entire homes could fit inside this hotel room. Push this button, a uh, bellman will come. Yes, may I help you? Is there anything you need? So I'm going to test that out today. Not right now, because I don't really want anything at 5.30 in the morning. I don't even have a cell phone in, in America, but i got a cell phone here, and I can call my wife. In fact, I think I'll call her right now. Yeah, that's my number. India is almost exactly on the opposite side of the earth. So 5.30 in the morning in India would be about 3 o'clock the previous afternoon on the west coast of America. Hello? <laughs> The first missionaries to India didn't have the luxury of cell phones or the internet to communicate with loved ones back home. In fact, it took them four or five months just to get to India. It took me less than 24 hours. Think about it. If you left right now, you'd be here tomorrow. The glory of God was shining through. Well, it looks as though the rain has stopped. It might be a good day after all for the area-wide camp meeting we have planned. There's supposed to be over a hundred people coming, with more than 40 precious souls being baptized right in the ocean. You know, this rain may be fun for me, Joe Turris, but for millions of people living here, 
It's no joke. These waters carry all kinds of germs and disease. For them, it can mean life or death. And giving out the gospel is a matter of life or death also. We're not here to play games. We're here to save souls. And yet wanted to live. And he counted the cost. Yeah, today is Saturday morning. I just now got up from the sleep and I got so many calls from my workers that uh, there is going to be a big cyclone this morning and it is very, you know, dangerous to go near the ocean and we have kept our baptism near the ocean this morning on Saturday and we have arranged seven vehicles, van, for all the JFI baptismal candidates to be transported to that place. But unfortunately, the weather is too bad and they all are requesting to be they did. All are requesting this day. It is too bad weather and most of the members are disturbed and uh, let us cancel the entire baptismal program. So I think uh, this morning we have to cancel the program and stay where we are. Do you like this pepper set? Oh sure. I'll keep it and read it sometime. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So what do you think it will do? I think uh, it will be wise to cancel and uh, we can take this program in your next uh, trip when you come with the Pozo's family. <laughs> How do the people, the baptismal candidates feel about I think they family? feel totally embarrassed about the whole situation. I myself uh, not so comfortable the whole night I've been coming and peeping out of the room and pouring and pouring and pouring. I thought maybe the Lord is pouring the rain so that I can, we can have sunshine in the morning. And now it's sunshine. <laughs> There's no sunshine. Do you think we'll lose any baptismal candidates? No, not at all. We will have some more added up to our baptism when you people come in the next trip. Tell them, to, uh, tell them to please have the worship right away there because it's just pouring and pouring and it's uh, not going to be like uh, comfortable to go and worship uh, elsewhere with a camp meeting, you know. Camp meeting should have been like, you know, it should be a happy situation where we worship together. And we have actually not booked the hall and we have, you know, told them that uh, we will be worshipping under the trees. And how can we sit under the tree? Marthikat left you karambi anyway. Okay, I'm thinking we're probably not going out today. tropical downpour. Well this is it. You gotta come here and check this out. It's amazing. About 60 inches are dumped in six hours. It's like somebody turned a bucket upside down and drenched the entire city. And I'm loving this. I feel like a kid again out playing in the rain. Except this time I've got a $3,500 camera. People are staring at me. They think I'm crazy. <laughs> I have talked to most of the workers this morning and they felt the same that uh, with this weather we cannot go out and we have to cancel the program uh, for today. Uh, not to cancel, maybe we have to postpone the program. So it will take place, baptism will take place in uh, maybe in a few weeks or so. But uh, for today we are cancelling uh, the Jesus for India baptismal service uh, near the ocean. And we take it as a will of God, take it easy. 
we are already wet and be careful. Immediately go take bath and you know wipe yourself and the bath, the, the bath, the shower is colder than the rain. <laughs> <laughs> I like Pastor Samuel. He takes care of me. There's no hot water in my shower. He got me some uh, bunch of uh, American food. You can see. He got the uh, crackers and uh, Lay's potato chips. Lay's and uh, Skippy peanut butter. A loaf of bread. I miss my homemade bread from. My wife's homemade bread. Not quite up to par on that. And a uh, cup of noodles. Anyway, it takes care of me and uh, makes me feel safe. Relatively safe. I'm gonna go take a shower and dry off. And here's the toilet area. That was my friend for a long night of pain and agony. Here's the shower setup. As you can see, nice shower head, nice and high. Just cold water. This hot water does not work. This works. Here's the, here's the shower. My door goes out to a veranda on the back. A couple days ago, I got what they affectionately call deli belly. Kind of the Indian version of Montezuma's Revenge. Not something I like to talk about much. You know, it amazes me that Jesus was willing to come to this earth and be born in a feed trough in conditions worse than what we're looking at right now. Okay, so what in the world is this? These are the sprouted grams, green grams. So these green grams are very healthy for health. Here we go. Here's my... Here's hot water, sir. Thank you very much. And uh, this is what you have for breakfast normally? Yes, whenever I'm in the city, I go over to some fruit shop and they have this pack ready, sprouted grams, and uh, I take this for breakfast. I feel very safe and healthy and good about this. If you want some more, I can bring it. Well, I was going to have. Now, what do you think is the healthy choice? Tell you what. I miss my granola. I'm homesick. Okay, that's good. Everything is done. About 75 percent. Uh, 75 percent. Except uh, one group. Okay, so we've cancelled all five groups except one. No, we actually have six groups. Okay. Out of which we have cancelled five groups. And one group, I'm afraid they're on the way. Because you can't get a hold of them. Yeah, because they cannot reach me or I cannot reach them uh -huh. through this uh, mobile. So we may uh, have to go out to this place anyway. So now we're heading out across town, trying to catch the one team that doesn't know that the program's been canceled. It'd be like trying to find a needle in a haystack, if you ask me. I saw God wash the world last night with his sweet showers on high. And then when morning came, I saw him hang it out to dry. He washed each tiny blade of grass and every trembling. 